guys, this is going to be part two of my collection tour of my entire movie collection. If you guys missed part one where I went through and showed you guys my entire Blu-ray collection, make sure you guys go back and watch that and then come back for this part because in this part I'm going to go through and show you guys my entire DVD collection which I have a ton of DVDs. I've been collecting DVDs for well over 10 years now and I've really perfected my collection. I love my DVD collection. It's one of my favorite things in my room and I'm real excited to give you guys a better look at it. So let's not waste any more time and start going through. Actually at the top here I have some cool stuff displayed at the top of my DVD shelf. I got this cool old Garfield doll. I got like this Christine Hot Wheels type thing. I got this old coffin coin bank. Found this at a thrift store. Pretty cool stuff here. Have this Frankenstein doll, this King Kong doll, which I won at a from a prize grab machine. Dracula doll, little Wolverine figure, these old Universal Monster figures. These are from the 80s. Really cool stuff there. And behind them is actually a like ceramic jack-o'-lantern that you put a like candle in for a display around Halloween time. It's really cool. I always uh, display that around Halloween time and when it's not displayed it's up in the box on my shelf because I really think the box is cool looking too. Very 80s and very Halloween looking. I just love that but let's get going on the movies. So first off here I'll go through my top row which starts off with like classic monster stuff and moves into the hammer and then it moves into like the uh, the George Romero zombie movies and stuff like that. I actually don't have my DVD collection in alphabetical order. I just kind of have a group together by like by the way that I think works best. I just like to display my DVDs together like collections and directors so it's kind of displayed in that way by directors and other stuff like that. It's kind of hard to explain but you guys will get the idea when I start going through it. So first off here we have some of my Universal Monster releases. I actually have all of the classic monster movies on DVD right now. I have two of the older Legacy sets and then I have four of these newer ones. Really like these sets, you know, with all the Wolfman films and stuff. Really cool stuff there. I have this cool Universal Monster box set that comes with Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Wolfman. Really nice looking box set. Alright, got a couple more Universal Monster releases. I probably won't go through everything since I have so many DVDs to show, but like I said, I will highlight on some of my favorite stuff in the collection for sure. After the Universal Monster stuff, I have some of my Boris Karloff films. One of my favorites is probably Targets. This was actually one of Boris Karloff's later films. It's a pretty interesting movie. I have some of the Val Lewin two packs, really good classic horror movies. I have some other like random two packs, this House on One Hill two pack comes with the original and the 90s remake. I also have this old copy of House on Haunted Hill It's in one of the Warner Brothers snapper cases. This is actually one of my favorite DVDs in my collection for some reason. Just love House on Haunted Hill, it's my favorite Vincent Price movie. And then after that, I have a lot of my Hammer Horror stuff. I have the Hammer Horror releases from Warner Brothers in the Snapper cases. I have all of those. Really wish I had the box set with those, but either way, I really like those. I got a couple of the Hammer collections. It's one from Universal that comes with a lot of really good stuff right there. And then I go and then it goes into my Hammer Anchor Bay releases, which are of course, my favorite Hammer releases in my collection. I have a lot of these, but I don't have all of them. The Anchor Bay released a ton of Hammer releases, and they're all really expensive, so I'm just glad to have the ones that I have. I have Scars of Dracula, The Mummy's Shroud, Blood from the Mummy's Tomb, Rasputin, The Reptile, Plague of the Zombies, Prehistoric Woman, The Anniversary, and The Abominable Snowman. 
And then after that I have my Synapse Hammer releases. Hands of the Ripper and Twins of Evil. Both of those are really good. And then over here my Hammer Collection continues. I have another Hammer set. A couple more Hammer sets here actually. And then a couple random Hammer releases. This is the last Frankenstein movie they made. Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell. Really love the cover art on this one. And that's about it for the Hammer Collection. And then like I said it moves on into kind of more like modern horror. So I have the Psycho films. Of course you gotta have the first Psycho film in your collection. Just one of the, one of the best horror movies ever made. I also have the uh, Scream Factory DVD of Psycho 2, Spider Baby, and then after that is the start of my George A. Romero zombie collection, and the George A. Romero zombie films are some of my all-time favorite horror movies ever. I have a couple copies of Night of the Living Dead. Got that copy. I also have this pretty cool Millennium Edition in a red case. Can't go wrong with the red case. This is probably, I would say, if you're looking for a really good copy of Night of the Living Dead, one that's not a bootleg or budget edition, this is the one to go for from Elite Entertainment, the Millennium Edition. There's been a couple releases after this that are good too, but uh, out of all the Night of the Living Dead releases, this, I would say, is the definitive one on DVD. Then I have some releases of Dawn of the Dead. Really cool looking release here. I think this is one of the first copies of Dawn of the Dead ever on DVD. It's actually split up in two parts. You have to flip the disc to watch the second half of the movie. Some old school stuff right there for sure. Just always loved the poster designs for Dawn of the Dead. It's another release with a really cool cover design. Love the colors here. And then next up is the zombie release. Again, just an awesome cover for this. And I also have the Anchor Bay Dawn of the Dead box set. The Ultimate Edition. This is one of my favorite things in my entire collection. This set is pretty hard to find. So I'm just really glad I have this because Dawn of the Dead is it's definitely one of my all-time favorite horror movies ever. After that, of course, I have Day of the Dead. I got this cool two-disc release of it. And then I have this older one-disc release from Anchor Bay, which for some reason this has always been one of my favorite Anchor Bay releases. Just really like the cover art again on this. Just think it's really cool. All right, and then I got a few other Romero movies. I have Night of the Living Dead remake from the 90s, which he wrote, and I also have Creepshow 1 and 2. I love both of those movies. And then after that, kind of moves on into my Wes Craven stuff. I have the two Hills Have Eyes movies. Love the original Hills Have Eyes films. Hills Have Eyes part two, fun stuff there. Swamp Thing, I got this four pack that comes with the uh, Wes Craven film Deadly Friend, which is one of my favorite Wes Craven films. I really hope Scream Factory puts out a special dish for that. After that, of course, I got the Nightmare on Elm Street box set. Love that box set and love that film series. And then after that goes into like my Toby Hooper films. I have the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4 disc release. This is Blu-ray and DVD. Really nice collection there. And then I have Texas Chainsaw 2, Texas Chainsaw 3, and the fourth one, the Next Generation. I also have Eaten Alive and The Fun House. Also Poltergeist, another one of my favorite Toby Hooper films. And then I have the three Exorcist films and the old Warner Brothers snapper cases. First Exorcist is one of my favorite horror movies. All right, let's move on to the second row of DVDs here. And this is kind of, over here is my Italian horror stuff. It moves into my Halloween John Carpenter collection. And then after the John Carpenter Halloween stuff, it's just kind of like random horror stuff collections. I have a lot of box sets over here 
and my Evil Dead stuff and you know like I said my stuff is kind of randomly put in the shelves but it works for me so let's start off here with the Italian horror stuff so first off I have a few Mario Baba films Black Sunday Black Sabbath a Bay of Blood and then it goes into my Dario Argeno films which Dario Argeno is one of my favorite directors just love all of his films and I have a ton of my Anchor Bay releases on this row too like I said before and as you guys probably already know Anchor Bays are my favorite things to collect all right so let's go into the Argeno a little bit I got Deep Red the Suspiria set this was a goal of mine when I started to collect Italian horror films I really wanted this set so I'm so glad I had this in my collection this is one of my favorite horror movies ever and I'm extremely surprised that it hasn't gotten a good blu-ray release yet I have yet to see a Scream Factory or Arrow or any company put out a really good release of Suspiria I'm sure that there's one in the works maybe from Synapse or something like that but still waiting for an awesome Suspiria blu-ray after that we got Inferno and then Tenebrae and Phenomena here, these are two of my favorite DVDs in my collection. I just love these movies and I love the cover art on these Anchor Bay releases here. These are actually probably my two favorite Argento movies, even though I love Suspiria. There's just something about Tenebrae and Phenomena that just really sticks out to me. I really like those two movies. Love those additions there. Got Dario Argeno's Opera, really good stuff there. The Stendhal Syndrome, that's a Blue Underground release. Dario Argeno's Fan of the Opera, that one's pretty good too. And then I have this really cool Anchor Bay Steelbook that comes with five Argento films. This is actually kind of a hard set to find. Comes with Do You Like Hitchcock, Phenomena, and Tenebrae. Again, like I said, two of my favorite films from him, The Card Player and Trauma. Really cool set here. I love the cover of this, how it uses the uh, Tenebrae cover. Really awesome set there. I also have the Demons 2-pack. Really awesome 2-pack Anchor Bay set. Again, mo most of these Anchor Bays are hard to find, so I don't want to sound like a... Uh, I don't want to repeat myself is what I'm trying to say here and say that all my anchor bays are hard to find because most of them are but that demons one is kind of hard to find I have after that I got well that's a Lamberto Bava set and then after that I have another Lamberto Bava set that comes with the blade and a blade in the dark and macabre after that I got some of my Lucio Fulci movies which I think is how you pronounce his last name I have Zombie. Really love this copy of Zombie. This is like an old school Anchor Bay release of this. Really cool stuff here. Got the Zombie Pack. Got the Beyond. The House by the Cemetery. The New York Ripper. Rats, which is a. Um, who did this? Bruno Mattei. And I think. Hell of the Living Dead. Yeah, that's also Bruno Mattei right here. So I got a couple of his films too. Cannibal Holocaust is right after that. And that's kind of the end of my Italian horror collection. Ends off with Cannibal Holocaust. And then it goes into my John Carpenter stuff. And I'm getting close to the 20 minute mark here. So actually probably when I hit 20 minutes, I'm going to cut off. And I'm going to split this video into uh, two parts. The DVD one. But let me just finish up the John Carpenter stuff before I do that. Alright, so next, so we have the Halloween films here. I have a ton of copies of the Halloween films. I just love everything about those. I have this cool, like, holographic cover one right here. I also have the uh, TV cut, or the extended cut of Halloween. Got the uh, Scream Factory release of Halloween 2 on DVD, Halloween 3. I got a couple copies of Halloween 4, which is one of my all-time favorite horror movies. I just love watching that around Halloween time. It gets me in the Halloween spirit more than 
any other film this and of course the first Halloween Halloween 5 and Halloween 6 Curse of Michael Myers and then I have a couple other John Carpenter movies here Soul on Precinct 13 Escape from New York I got kind of like a two disc special edition Escape from New York The Fog The Thing which is probably my favorite John Carpenter movie if I had to pick just such an awesome sci-fi horror movie one of the best remakes ever Christine, Big Trouble in Little China, They Live, and then that's it for the John Carpenter collection. And then after that, it kind of goes into my other stuff, which continues to the next part, which I'll get into in the next part of this. But I'll, but I'll finish up with this. So over here I have Phantasm, Phantasm 2, and Phantasm 3. I know the Anchor Bay copy of Phantasm 3 is kind of hard to find now, so really glad to have that. And then I have a couple Peter Jackson films, Bad Taste and Dead Alive. So, alright guys, that was it for part one of the of a of a tour of my DVD collection, and I'll continue this in part three of the complete tour of my collection, which will be part two of my DVD collection.